Important research on the effectiveness of a third dose of the COVID vaccine is underway in the Twin Cities. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, it is offering perspective on how well the vaccine works and exactly who should be looking at getting a third dose. Proud mom and wife Sally Thompson got the news in 2009. It's not fun to hear the words you have cancer. It, it's, a, it's a huge blow, takes a lot of getting used to. She has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. After beating several relapses, her immune system took a beating too, making COVID extra dangerous. No one came in and out of our house for almost a year, we, including our sons. She got the vaccine in January, but... I actually did have an antibody test in uh, late May, and I found out that apparently I didn't have any antibodies or they were too small to count. And her case falls right into line with rare vaccine research being conducted on the U of M campus. Some of the studies show as many as 60% of people who are immunocompromised in these subgroups aren't responding, and that's a lot higher than we were anticipating. Dr. Carker is heading up research on how the vaccine takes in people who have had cancer, HIV, or an organ transplant. So the good news is even though there are more non-responders to the vaccine or suboptimal responders, the preliminary data seems to indicate that we can help a subset of those get to a higher level of immunity with that third uh, dose. She says so far, research on the third dose shows few side effects and significant coverage. She's opening her study to gather even more information on the new dose that she already believes in. My thought is the immunocompromised people should absolutely go get the third dose based on what we know today. And Sally is doing just that next week, and then she will join Dr. Carger's open study. I, I hope that lots more people in my situation will sign up and, and be part of their study. And if you or someone you know is interested in getting in on that study, they are actively recruiting. We have information on our website. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. Study participants have to get the shot on their own, and then the U will monitor effectiveness. They are also asking for healthy volunteers to be a control for the experiment.